If you thought Westworld's bravura first season brought this latest Man vs. The Machine saga to a satisfying conclusion, remember that was just one-eighth of the planned dystopian opus. Our story is a really big one, co-creator Jonathan Nolan told IndieWire last year. It's the story of the origin of a new species on this planet, and being able to tell that in chapters and commit two aggressive moves season v season that propel that story upwards and outwards and inwards. Earlier this week, Nolan and fellow creator Lisa Joy hinted they will be giving us glimpses of several new theme parks in season 2, which is currently filming. The 1973 Michael Crichton movie that inspired the HBO show featured worlds based on various historical eras. The film's sequel even boasted a park set in the future, which rather boggles the mind given Westworld itself is presumably meant to exist well into the 21st century. So which new worlds can we expect to see? When the show returns in early 2018, Roman World Facebook Twitter Pinterest Malcolm McDowell in one of the few suitable stills. From Caligula, photograph Everett Collection Rex feature intended as a recreation of life in Pompeii in the early years of the Roman Empire. This park appears only briefly in the original movie, though it got a little bit more of a run out in the 1976 sequel. It's described as a lusty treat for the senses in the setting of delightful, decadent Pompeii. Here the traveler experiences the sensual, relaxed morality that existed at the peak of the Imperial Roman Empire. Sex with robot hosts seems to have been a huge part of the attraction for visitors to Westworld, and the HBO series is hardly known for its prudishness. We're already imagining a visit to Roman world being a bit like accidentally walking onto the set of Caligula. Battle of the Bots Why Westworld The film is superior to the TV series Read More Samurai World briefly teased in the finale of season 1, when Tandy Newton's mega-brained bot Maeve discovered an entire room of heavily armored hosts. Samurai World is a new addition to the Westworld pantheon. It's confirmed that Japanese actor Hiroyuki Sanada, best known for playing Dogen in Lost, will portray a man known as Musashi in season. Too. Little is known about the role, other than that Sanada will be a season regular, so we'll have to wait and see if he ends up playing a host in the new park or something else entirely. One thing's for sure, if those samurai go rogue, the bloody massacre at the end of season one may end up looking pretty tame in comparison. Medieval World also featured in the original Westworld, this land was a reconstruction of 13th century Europe, described as a world of chivalry and combat, romance and excitement. Our teams of engineers have spared no expense in this recreation, precise to the smallest detail. The park is perhaps most memorable in Crichton's film as the location for Richard Benjamin's final battle with Yul Brynner's gunslinger. Much like Roman World and Westworld, medieval world's pitch to visitors revolves around plenty of Robot, though this time with princesses and knights rather than Wild West brothel madams and Roman centurions. Future World Facebook. Twitter Pinterest Westworld boldly going into the future. Photograph HBO The ill-fated 1976 sequel to Westworld has never been quite so celebrated as the original movie, not least because it introduced a subplot swiped straight from 1974's Stepford Wives in which the owners of the park try to replace visitors with robots. We can't really imagine Nolan and Joy borrowing such well-worn concepts for the TV show, though the park's essential premise it was based on an orbiting space station could take Westworld into entirely new realms of spacey sci-fi. And at least it couldn't be any worse than future worlds. Other infamous addition, the rather tedious-sounding spa world, where back an alien pleasures are presumably swapped for facials and the odd pedicure.